So again, it's a combination of sound resonance, so just having someone laying in the water, even if the whale isn't close, the sound itself moves the bones and releases the tissue. It's magnetics, which come from the um, whale itself and affect the body and shift the magnetic field of the body and the electrical system. Technically, in cranial sacral therapy, what you do is you disorganize the electrical field of the body so that it will reorganize more coherently. The whales do the same thing. It disorganizes the electrical field and it comes back more coherent. And something to remember is the cell has an electrical charge to it. And as you die, the electrical charge fades away. So the extra electricity that comes from this work enlivens the cells and makes the body healthier and stronger. I've been asked whether or not I believe that the whales are conscious of the work they're doing or if this is something that just happens. And absolutely, without a doubt, the whales are very conscious of what they're doing. This is not just a field that radiates out from them. They turn it on, they turn it off, they pick specific people to work with. And one of the first things they did with me in the training was they told me that I should connect my field to their field. And then they would literally move their field through different levels of consciousness and teach me how to move into to different levels of consciousness and we uh, sounds a little bit out there but we'll take children out into the ocean with us who are on kayaks and I may have 10 children with me when the whales come and the whale will pick one or two children to work with so it's not everyone and the children that are picked they don't know anything about energy we've never talked about what I do or what I think and the children will literally stand up and start to shake and cry and laugh and they'll say the whales are touching me the whales are touching me and every once in a while they might catch sight of me and they'll go and Rebecca's in the whale so they're actually able to perceive my consciousness has hooked in with the whales consciousness and we're both touching at the same time so it's very physical feeling and if you've ever been out on a whale watch with people and all of a sudden half the people go to sleep and then a few minutes later they wake up normally the whale's biofield has turned on people will change their emotions in mid-sentence i've been on boats with people and they'll say oh i hate my job i hate my life i don't know why i'm on this silly boat and then i and all of a sudden, you feel this hit their body, and their face changes and lights up. And they'll say, it's so beautiful out here. Do you see the whales? I should be in the water all the time. Children are very aware. Adults aren't always aware of what's going on, but children are very, very aware of what's happening. And this doesn't just happen in the ocean. We have found we can be a thousand miles away from a whale, and the whale will literally send out like a tether from its electrical field and touch someone else. Every time a person is spinning in the water, a whale is touching them. And I find this so profound that a whale would care enough to reach out and touch us or care enough to open the tissues in our hearts and balance our body, especially when you look that even today,